Hi, I'm Torstein from Cinema Terror. Today I will be reviewing the 1987 underwater monster movie Demon of Paradise. The story takes place on the island of Maui, where the illegal dynamite fishing has disrupted the earth, giving way for the resurrection of an ancient reptilian creature that seeks revenge upon the humans for the wrongdoings towards Mother Earth. Hurry up, play it, will you? Come on. I guess that's a decent enough synopsis for this film. It is in other words nothing you haven't seen before in other movies that has taken inspiration from Creature of the Black Lagoon or in modern times Jaws. Demon of Paradise is a mixture of those with the tone of a Roger Corman production added to it, so imagine my lack of surprise when I read that this was actually produced by Corman's New Horizon Pictures. I can just say this right away, that if you enjoy his other stuff like this, such as Up From The Depths or Humanoids From The Deep, then go right ahead and find this film and have yourself a good time. I am not a fan of either of those movies, and the same can be said about his first viewing ahead of Demon of Paradise. Welcome to Paradise! Guest registration is just over there. Cabanas are on your left, dining rooms on your right, and water sports are straight ahead. Oh, don't forget, tomorrow we're staging our first annual beast egg hunt. You might win a free vacation in <laughs> Demon of Paradise is a bland, uninspiring, and tiresome monster feature that only sets itself a bit apart from being filmed in the Philippines making up for an unconvincing setting of Hawaii Island. The movie is directed, or rather just delivered over, by Filipino filmmaker Sirio H. Santiago, a guy that did nearly 100 movies while he was still alive, most in the action and exploitation genre. He does a professional job and delivers what was expected of him, but there is hardly any energy brought into the film, except perhaps for the last 10-15 minutes where they get some soldiers and try to take out the reptilian monster by shooting him down with rifles, machine guns and even grenades. The film is filled with different stock characters that get enough screen time to make you familiar with them, but leaves us sitting clueless of what any other names was 5 minutes after the movie's over. A lot of this has to do with the lackluster dialogue and the way the narration goes, going from character to character without giving any of them enough care. What saves the movie though is the awesome goofy monster, which is a guy in a rubber suit, of course. It's hard to guess what type of animal this creature is supposed to be based on, but the suit makes him look so slow and clumsy. That being said, I wouldn't mind seeing this monster in a better movie, or at least a movie that doesn't try to take itself serious and rather wants to just have some fun with it. The laughable looking thing is also shown directly in the sunlight with no attempt or care about trying to hide its flaws. There are some cool scenes at night time with lots of fog machine usage where a monster isn't as out in the open, and it actually works within the setting, but overall due to the lack of effort put into this production, the monster becomes something to just laugh at. There isn't all that much to be said about Demon of Paradise, it's a lackluster effort without any energy to it. Even if more parts of it is just bad, it should be said that it never goes over the border to become painful to watch. It is an easy movie to sit through, but it will also be a very easy movie to forget. Ask me about Demon in Paradise a few years from now, and I'm sure I won't be able to tell you anything about it. The fact that it is as easy to sit through does save it from getting a terrible score, but I can't see anyone to recommend Demon of Paradise for. So the movie only gets a score of 2 out of 5. Anyone out there actually seen or heard about this movie before? Anyone familiar with the lengthy filmography of Sergio H. Santiago? Which of his films does stand out for you? Let me know about it in the comment section below, like, subscribe and all of that stuff, and please do check out my new Patreon page that you will find in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you again next time.